welcome. If you have never been here before, my name is Patty, and today we're gonna go hang out with one of my friends. She is a professional dancer. She teaches ballroom, pole, circus things. Um, I don't know if she teaches the circus things yet, but basically like acrobatics and stuff. So I think that that would be fun, something different. We're gonna go meet her and see what she has in store for us. So see you there. Let me introduce to you. Hi, I'm Elena from Wild Industries in Orange County. We're a pole and dance and burlesque studio, and we're gonna be messing around with some stuff today. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah. I will just walk through. I'll probably put some like motivational music. Tell us what's happening. Okay, so we're going to warm up and then we'll go to the pole and we'll do some warm ups on that and exercises on that before we put a routine together. A routine. <laughs> oh. I told her nothing too scandalous because I know you guys already, some of y'all, not all of y'all, but some of y'all get a little rowdy. So don't be too silly right now. <laughs> okay. We mic'd up. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, all right. So we'll start going this way and we'll go one, we'll count slows and then just for different um, muscle engagement. It's like a hold and then quick muscles. Slow, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Okay. <laughs> and then usually we'll do like these guys, you know. <laughs> so we'll do a light stretch. Okay. Cat, cow, whatever they call it. <laughs> Child's pose over the back. Yes. Then we come up and we stretch the Achilles. And also go up to Demi. Yeah. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> And then we slowly stand up and move up. Exactly. Oh, that was beautiful. Excellent. Okay, so calf stretches next. Straighten the back leg. Then you bend the back knee. That should get your Achilles better. Okay, then we go back and we do some of these guys. Feet together. So slow. And then, normally I have my socks off for this. Or my shoes off. <gasps> Don't mind my socks. <laughs> Push this down. <laughs> Shin stretch. Oh yeah. Kind of hurts sometimes on the hard ground. Yeah. I can <laughs> feel it. <laughs> no pain, no gain. It's just warming you up for the pole pain, you know? Mm. <laughs> All right. So now we go to the pole and we do some arm stretches slash pec stretches. Feel it all around mm. here. Mm -hmm. And you can move your arm up and down and it stretches a slightly different area. Ooh, got a little tear on this one, so we're gonna go light. Elena's shoulder's torn. <laughs> yeah, I think it's actually my bicep, but. <laughs> bicep. Kay. I think some professional bodybuilders do that also, so we're basically right on the same spectrum. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> then there's these guys. So stretch upwards. And those are the shoulder stretches. Okay, let me know if I'm doing them incorrectly. Okay. Yes, there you go. It's gonna start about there. And then once you stretch that a little bit, lower it to more like a shoulder height. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
How's it feeling? It's intense. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel it in your pec? Yeah, I feel it right like here. Like on that, yeah, that. Yeah. That's exactly where my tear thing is. <laughs> Very important to take care of your shoulders when you're doing this stuff. They're, um, you know, delicate joints. They are delicate. And doing this stuff, there's a lot that can go wrong. Pole art is a sport. People don't understand how difficult it is <laughs> and how much strength it takes. So next time you think that you could do it easily, try it. <laughs> Here's a wee bit of grip. Um, I personally, this is not my favorite one. There's another one called dry hands that works really well, but I'm out. So you take some of this. And you rub it on. Now you should be nice and gripped up. That was a little bit grippy, okay. Okay, so first one we do our shrug. So you start with like your left over your right and we just shrug. Ooh! <laughs> oh, it's like <laughs> scapular shrugs. Exactly. Good. So I'll have people, depending on their strength, do like six to eight of those, maybe 10. And then you switch hands, so the other one's on top. Scapular shrugs. Just so you know, that is a great way to help you get a pull-up. So, that's true. If you can't do a pull-up, practice your scapular shrugs. Is this like too much? Uh, that's maybe a little less, yeah. I, oh, just a little bit goes a long way. Yeah, a little so. goes a long way. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. Ooh, I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and one. Oh my God, yeah. I'm slipping. Uh, yeah, so the grip is the trickiest part of the pole. It does, you'll get used to it, but yeah. If it gets too <laughs> determination, <laughs> if it gets too slick, then we wipe it down with the rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> this is alcohol and water, and you spray the poles once they get too grimy or you sweat too much. Eliminate the grime, let's go. There we go. Um, okay, another one that I usually actually have people do before the shrugs that I forgot oh. is, I know, <laughs> is you just same grip and you hold as you spin. But engage the shoulders as opposed to being down here. Okay, engage your shoulders. Wait, does it matter which direction I go? Like based on what hand's on top? Um, it does not. I usually go the direction that my hand on top is, but you can do either. Okay. Point. Yeah, baby! Yeah, point the toes. Lightweight, baby. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, so dizzy already. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the spins uh, get to people sometimes. You can easily get discombobulated. I'm already discombobulated. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're gonna stand on this side of the pole, have your right hand lower and your left higher, and then you're going to tuck up. One, mm. two, three. Oh, that core strength. And then you can do the other side. Yeah. Perfect. Do four to eight. You're up. God, it's so slippery. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh my God. Nice. Oh, put your, um, put the hand that's closest to the pole lower. Yes, that's it. God damn. <laughs> yeah, the slipping. Is right. honestly the biggest hurdle at first. I think I've had enough of that side. Okay. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, that was enough. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll do this one. So, to do a shoulder mount. God. Which is where you go up like that. Oh, wow. But the exercise we do before we go there is you grip with this hand right here slightly lower, elbows forward, and you push your trap against the pole and you pull that way with your hands and just kind of arch. One. Oh wow. Two, three, and then you gotta switch. Switch the hands too. One, two, three. And that one's messed up, so I'm only gonna do three. Okay. <laughs> okay, is it like this or? So if you're starting on that side, this is so much harder than anticipated. <laughs> oh my God, it hurts so bad. Yeah, my trap. It hurts the trap for sure. Oh my God, so this is flex horrific. the muscles and it'll hurt less. Oh my God, there we go. That's it. 
<laughs> Perfect. Um, put your head back further and it helps your, <laughs> your neck. There are traps. Ooh, beautiful. Ooh, I'm stepping on shit. Okay, yeah, there you go. That's good. Three's enough. Perfect. <laughs> so next one, this is called your split grip. You go up here and here. First, I have people push away and see if they can hold it. Then, if they can hold it, I have them do leg pulses. Two. Like that. Yes. Okay. Okie dokie. So, yeah, there you go. You push. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> okay, should I try the pulsing? Sure, try it. I feel like I will fall. Point the toes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> right, yeah. It does have kind of a bowed sensation sometimes. There's this one that you practice for inverts. For beginners, I won't usually do this one. Pull up here, and you're gonna try and lift the legs up. Okay. So you can start by tucking and then opening. Or if you're feeling strong, you can just straight. Oh, Elena's strong. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Ah! Yeah, there you go. Oh, my hamstrings! <laughs> oh my god! Lift the leg up, mm -hmm. and then arms here, and you go one. Oh, I like that. That doesn't seem too difficult. <laughs> Two, yeah, these are better. Eight of those. Yeah, there you go. Nice and high. Ooh, it's not okay. I thought it would be way easier than it feels <laughs> now. Ah! <laughs> Beautiful. I have overestimated my skills. Mm. <laughs> Three. Nice. Hamstring. Yippee! You are about to witness a professional at work. Do mm. not attempt this at home. Ready? Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh. Wow. And this is our Martise. Mm. And you can. And back. Wow. So that's like a beginner intermediate little sequence. That was beginner. Yeah. People. Maybe not beginner, more, more intermediate. What would you consider yourself at this point? Like expert, advanced? Well. I didn't train like most people do, where they go to classes and like pull one, pull two, pull three. I just learned at home. Mm -hmm. so all my skills are kind of all over the place. Um, I'd say I'm an advanced pole dancer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and that is it. We're done with the strength and conditioning class. I will be honest with you guys, I have done something similar to that before. It wasn't like a class, but one time me and Elena and our other friend were just tooling around in her garage and I was expecting it to be easier this time, but it was significantly more difficult, which I found interesting because I'm stronger now. I'm physically much stronger now, but I also weigh an additional 20 plus pounds, so I am much heavier. That was very humbling. That was much harder than I thought it was gonna be. But anyway, I had a great time. Thank you to Elena and the Wild Things for that magical experience. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment something silly below. And I will see you in the next video. Adios.